Hi, I'm Mark Fulton with the Unleash team. Welcome to this video where we'll take a look at strategy variance functionality in Unleash. Before diving into the new strategy variance feature demo, it's important we start with some prior context, where we'll first define variance and its use cases, followed by a look into how variance has evolved in Unleash over the last few releases. Then we'll look at what's changed in strategy variants, finishing with some notes on how to transition from legacy variants into strategy variants. By default, a feature flag in Unleash reports on whether a feature is enabled or disabled, but you can also add more information to your flags by adding variants. Feature flags are designed to let you decide which users get access to a feature. Variants, then, are designed to let you decide which version of the feature a user gets access to. For instance, if user A is part of your beta testing program and gets access to a new beta feature, then you can use variants to decide whether they should get the red version or the green version of the feature. A common use case for variants is running A-B testing experiments on the application user base. When variants are coupled with impression data from our SDKs, this can be sent to a downstream analytics platform for powerful insights into user behavior, with different versions of a product feature to see which one is more effective. Check out our blog for more info on this particular use case for variants. We introduced feature flag level variants during Unleash version 3.x. In version 4, we added environment level support after hearing that some users needed different variant configurations on a feature flag for different environments. For example, development compared to production environments. To streamline the process for users who maintain consistent variants across environments, we implemented a feature that facilitates the transfer of variants between environments. A key limitation is that variants in these versions allowed for restricted context-based exceptions. Only an in op type of operator with one or many values could be set for overrides, as we see in the screenshot here. We heard from our community and customer base that variants in their current form at the feature flag level are too limited. So, we set out to make variants better for everyone, not just on or off, but allowing for A-B testing to be conducted within the activation strategy of the feature flag, using all the extra contexts that are configurable within an activation strategy today. In rethinking our approach to variants, we kept the implementation powerful, but simple and intuitive, leaning on the already comprehensive activation strategies feature set. Now, instead of a standalone area of the UI under the feature flag configuration, we incorporated variants within activation strategies to benefit from percentage-based rollouts, constraints, and segments. As a result, every strategy now not only dictates an on or off status, but also associates an on condition with a specific variant. Variants can also be included as a default strategy if they are used all the time. Strategy variants are to be treated as a progressive enhancement. Old variants will keep working for the next few releases to allow plenty of time to begin adopting strategy variants and having the two types coexist. We will communicate further before any breaking change releases are issued providing ample time. As a general recommendation, we suggest leveraging strategy variants for any new variant configurations where possible. Then let the existing variants expire, which can be removed once they have gone past their useful life cycle. If you have old variants and strategy variants, new ones take precedence. If you don't have strategy variants, Unleash will fall back to feature flag variants. Most critically, updates to SDKs are required for applications to support strategy variants. Our documentation covers language-specific SDK information.
As an activation strategies best practice, the order of strategies now becomes important to ensure that your strategies contain variants are evaluated first. So, place the most specific strategy first and the most generic strategy last. We'll explore this important concept hands-on in the demo. A final tip is to copy strategies between environments to save time, rather than recreating and manually inputting values again. Let's move forward and get hands-on with strategy variants. Let's start in a brand new feature flag that we've created called Front Page Title. This is a totally blank feature flag from an activation strategy perspective. The only thing we have configured in here is some feature flag variants, which we created for some historic context. We see one variant created in the development environment with variant A and B, so this was set up for A-B testing. Let's take a look at this. We note the presence of overrides in here. And this, as we mentioned during the slides, was one of the shortcomings of variants in Unleash version 3x and 4x. With overrides, users were asking where other features were. Where can I find my segments? Where are the operators? In Unleash, we already had these features built into activation strategies. Therefore, instead of incorporating them into feature variants, it made sense to simplify, so variants were added to activation strategies where advanced context and segmentation already exist. In the past, every strategy was something that resolves to either on or off, true or false. Now, in addition to resolving it to on, you can provide a particular value, which is the variant itself. So the variant provides a concrete value other than on or off. Let's see a couple of examples of this. A strategy can be enabled for a segment and 100% of people within it. I want this to also have a variant called a task. and I can attach some data or a JSON, any content that would be relevant and specified within the activation strategy. This would be a simple single variant strategy. But now we can go one step further and look at multivariate strategies. For example, let's say we wish to conduct A-B testing within this activation strategy. In this case, for all the members of the specified segment, the, con the development team for the conduit application, we can select 50% of them to receive task A or variable A and 50% of them to get variant B or task B as we're titling it here. This is a similar capability we had before in feature flag variants but now it's added to the strategy and therefore takes advantage of all the targeting capabilities we already have. Let's cancel out and explore a more in-depth use case to understand how the additional capabilities of strategy variants could be put into place in the real world. Again, in our new feature flag with no pre-existing strategies, let's say we want to show a dedicated page title only for our internal users. We have a segment with internal users already defined that we can leverage. Then, applying a variant to this strategy is straightforward so that all the internal users get the same experience. One thing to call out is that within Unleash you can also title your strategies. This is especially useful for differentiating between them and understanding who they are targeting. Next, 
Let's say we want to present a different experience to a second group of users, those that have a user ID ending in bar.com. We'll title our strategy accordingly and select the appropriate constraint. User ID ends with bar.com. Then we configure the variant. This will create a variant only for those bar.com users, allowing us to show a custom page title to them in our application code. Finally, we need to define our strategy for all other users that don't match the segment or constraints. So for this one, there won't be any segments or constraints defined. In this wider group, we want to do A-B testing, where there'll be some randomization between two variants. unlike for the first two strategies, which have fixed values for individual targeting. By default, we split 50-50 between the two experiences, but this can be changed to a custom percentage if desired. The preview bar at the bottom will adjust according to the percentages set. Now we need to enable the feature flag in an environment. One part we discussed in the requirements slide is that the order of strategies now matters. Recall that for proper evaluation order, we need to set our most complex strategy first and most generic strategy last. This is because we're going beyond simply evaluating which strategies map to true or on. We're also now attaching variant values to them. Let's assume we put this gradual rollout with 100% user base at the top or beginning of the evaluation order. It would match every single user, so everyone would either see variant A or B and never hit the dedicated configurations. So the internal users or the constrained users wouldn't get targeted and see their respective customized experiences. Lastly, don't forget you can easily copy strategies between environments if necessary. This will save time when making a feature flag available to other higher level environments. That's everything for now. To recap, using strategy variants, we finished configuring a powerful set of strategies for our feature flag that target different sets of users in different ways, going beyond the limited overrides in the existing variants capability and simple on-off reporting. Thanks for watching.